The spiral model is a risk-driven software development process model. Based on the unique risk patterns of a given project, the spiral model guides a team to adopt elements of one or more process models. The model was first described by Barry Boehm in his 1986 paper, A Spiral Model for Software Development and Enhancement. The spiral model was the first software development model to propose an incremental and risk-based approach to software building. It was only in the 1990s that an incremental approach to software building was tried. From this perspective, spiral model could be categorized as a model far ahead of its time. The spiral model basically consists of four phases. The first phase is to determine the objectives. This is the planning phase in which stakeholders, requirements and win conditions are identified and defined. The second phase is to identify and resolve risks. In this phase, risks are identified and prioritized. Simple prototypes are built to analyze risks till the time we get a release candidate. The third phase is the development and test phase. In this phase, the product is actually engineered. The team performs coding activities and develops prototypes. With every phase, the complexity of the prototype increases. Early phases would result in simple prototypes and latter phases would have complicated prototypes. The fourth phase is the plan the next iteration phase. This is the evaluation phase in which stakeholder review and feedback occurs and the next iteration, if at all needed, is planned. The spiral model is like a series of waterfalls and each iteration in this model is different from the previous one. As we build a system, we get a better understanding of the requirements and the end goal. At the end of each iteration, a prototype is built till the time we get a release candidate. Prototypes are evaluated by stakeholders and each iteration builds upon the output of the previous iteration. In this figure, the y-axis depicts the cumulative cost of the project and the x-axis depicts the number of documents that are there to review. Modern agile processes have advocated and accepted the concepts introduced in this model.